and 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. I think the temperature is going to tank very rapidly this evening. By 11 tonight, a lot of places are going to be in the 40s with clear skies, calming winds. But this is a very weak little cool front. This is dropping to the southeast and uh, well after midnight towards more like four or five o'clock in the morning. This will come through may bring a few clouds, perhaps a sprinkle or a little light shower over the northeast half of the viewing area. The thing is, it's not really a cold front. It's quite warm up here in central Canada. Parts of Alaska are well in the 80s. So as the front goes through tomorrow, even though our wind will be from the northwest, some of the warm air from central Canada will actually work in from the northwest, pushing our temperatures into the 70s for parts of the area. But pretty large storm system to our west will come in by late in the weekend. This will bring periodic showers and thunderstorms all of next week and warm and humid weather as well. Now a few scattered showers and storms are possible late Sunday. Latest data today suggests that the best chance of getting a shower or thunderstorm would be would tend to be after six or seven o'clock on Sunday. Let's hope that holds and then warm, humid, periodic showers and storms all of next week. And by the time it is all said and done, a lot of places are going to get an inch and a half to as much as three, three and a quarter inches of rain total. This evening, 62 at 7. Notice how we tank to 45 by 3 a.m., then 44. Then we rise a little bit as that weak little front comes through. But behind it, winds may be northwesterly tomorrow, but it's still 72 degrees with a lot of sunshine. 70 tomorrow, Logansport, 74 Covington, and about 72 for the high at Fowler. And on Saturday, winds actually go to the south. 70s for everyone, 74 Kokomo, 75 Delphi. About 77 at Covington. There's that weak little front coming in. This is 5 o'clock in the morning. Notice a few clouds or maybe a sprinkle or a light shower out of it. And that is it. And still a few clouds mainly in the northeast half of the viewing area at 649. Then for the rest of the day, uh, mostly sunny skies. Just a few clouds around. Good looking day. And even tomorrow night looks good with lows in the 40s again. But Saturday, it's even better, though we may be partly cloudy with high and mid-level clouds. We're still going to warm up, boy, well into the 70s, as you saw. And even for the race day, most of the day will be okay. Carb day is fine. There could be a few spotty showers and storms late, late in the day. And for Memorial Day, the bad thing is warm, humid with periodic scattered showers and storms, but at least we'll be in the low 80s, 82 for the high, 83 on Tuesday, around 80 Wednesday and Thursday. It will not rain the entire time. The sun will come out in between rounds of showers and storms, but they'll be around. Keep the umbrella handy, but at least warmth. Finally, some typical warmth for a change. Yeah, a warm Canadian breeze, right? Yeah, yeah pretty much. It was in the mid-80s in Fairbanks, Alaska. Today. Wow, unbelievable. All right, yeah, thanks, Chad. Sure. Just ahead, 